What is going on guys, Jack here and I am back with episode 45 of my West Ham United career mode. If you could be ever so kind to smash that like button if you are enjoying the series and also hit that subscribe button if you are new around here and enjoy what you see. We put an offer in for Ilkay Gundogan of 26.5 million. It's transfers, transfers, transfers at the moment as we're looking to bring in some new young players. Mateo Kovacic, as you remember, we did put in a bid for him at the end of last episode of him 70 grand per week. We then go into our pre-season semi-final against Monaco, a 2-1 win. Diarra Seta with both goals and definitely making a, a case maybe playing centre attack in midfield for the season because he can definitely play there. I mean, that's the thing about Manuel, not Manuel Lanzini, sorry, uh, Gideon Diarra Seta. You know, Dimitri Payet has left the club. Uh, obviously, Lanzini can fill in in that role, but if we have someone that's capable like Diarra Seta, who obviously looks willing to want to play for the club, then why not give him a shout -out? Why not? We've got nothing to lose. We offer for Thiago and Ilkay Gundogan here for some improved bids for the German. Hopefully we can get him into the club, but again, uh, if we can't, it's not the end of the world. We, we just have to keep pushing and hopefully we get the man into the club eventually as we get ready now for our pre-season final against Borussia Mönchengladbach. And a game that we're not going to be taking too seriously. Antonio does start out on the right. Lanzini does get pushed to centre attack in midfield. Pogba and Dyer as our centre defence midfielders. But yeah, the prize money is nice and all, but... Again, it's not a game where we have to do our absolute most best to get a victory. The team's still adjusting. It's great for morale. It's great for the winning mentality of the club. But it's not the be-all and end-all. Um, they've got a great side, much and glad back. Uh, great wide men and a great core to the, cl uh, to the club. So, again, I'm not too worried. If Stindl comes close here, hits the woodwork, comes very close, actually. It falls back to his path here. Turns, shoots again, and off the, cr um, the other bit of woodwork there, the post. Uh, West Ham very lucky not to go 1-0 down. As Danny Sabalos now brings the hammers forward. He does actually play it into the oncoming Mikel Antonio. The right midfielder cuts inside of his man here, gets into the danger area, shoots. And unfortunately, that is wayward of the mark. But that's what you need in the club. Someone that uh, plays with no fear, and that is definitely Mikel Antonio, who does really well here again, who links up play with Hector Bellerin, crosses the ball into Manuel Lanzini, of all people. I believe Eric Dyer might have got his head to that. He does hit the crossbar. West Ham, obviously, their turn to hit the woodwork now as we go into half-time here. Um... No club really, um, obviously, having the breakthrough here. No one's got the grip on the game as Antonio plays the ball into the path right at the start of the second half. Here, Lanzini plays into Danny Sabalos. Great agility shown there from uh, Sabalos, who skips past players with ease, gets the shot away, and actually finds the back of the net. West Ham United won, Borussia Mönchengladbach back nil, and. Um, yeah, that is actually a brilliant goal, and that's Danny Sabalos in a nutshell. A player that can change a game with his agility, his uh, ball control, his pace, and obviously his. Um he, he, he's balanced. He, he's a great player. And again, he links up play here again to find Mario Icardi. Just a few minutes after scoring the second, it's Mario Icardi into the top corner. And Danny Ceballos is just, he somehow flicked the switch in his second half. And that's players you need. You need game changers in the team that are not having the best of games, but you get them out in the second half, you get them, you know, you, you fire them up and they, they can do something like that. And he's got a goal and assist to his name now. Uh, Danny Sabalos, brilliant bit of players. Raphael plays the ball into Stindl here, and we've got a game on our hands. Just 10 minutes in to the second half, and Stindl gets the game back to 2-1. Uh, would you believe it? Absolutely mental stuff here, as the ball does fall into Stindl. Um, it's great link-up play, actually, for Much and Glad back here. Uh, they cause all the problems, and that's actually a brilliant cross by Raphael, I do believe. The Brazilian has the ability to unlock passes like that, as West Ham now try and get the lead back to two goals. Lanzini turns, shoots, he's denied by the post. Bellerin's there, but again, he hits it into the Half of Sommer. Don't think he got the most on that as Arcadi on the hour mark does play through Mamor Lanzini again, who's uh, creating stuff from centre attack mid. Does actually play into new sign Paul Pogba, who hits it straight down the throat of Sommer there. We make use of all our substitutes though. Quarantine, Taliso, Wilson, the Aracetta, Noble, De Hood, Mazega, and Kennedy all make their way onto the pitch. The ball does fall to Hahn here. Falls to Raphael now. Uh, are they going to get the goal they're looking for here? Right at the end of the game. Falls to Schultz. It's saved by Butler. And the game comes to an end, and we are the winners of this tournament, which is great to see. It's all about the Price money for us. We're playing very well here, and I'm over the moon. I really am. Um, you know, I'm pleased for the team because we've done really well. And that prize money winning that is the the difference between a player staying or going um, due to wages. And again, that's important for us. We really need the players to stay for this season. And like I said, that that wage budget is definitely the key for us um, to doing that. So, you know, it's the perfect way to go into our Community Shield final coming up against Chelsea, I do believe. And um, now we can concentrate more on transfers. But guys, just a friendly reminder, if you are enjoying today's video, make sure you do smash that like button. Also, subscribe if you are new around here. And why not get involved in the comment section down below too. Let me know your thoughts on today's video. I very much appreciate it. As you can see, we do look to get Ikad Gundogan. And we do actually go into contract negotiations now with the player himself. 150 grand per week, 20% bonus per goal. 
Uh, will that be enough to get away from Germany? We have to wait and see. We actually get knocked back though on Thiago and up our bid to 26 million plus to Lee. So, um, I believe we go actually 26.2 million, um, would you believe it, um, to try and get him into the club. Jack Butland um, comes in for him. We do reject that one. And uh, Marseille Arthur Manuel Lanzini, which we do straight up reject. 20.5 million though is a really good offer for the Argentine, but we just simply do not want to let him go from the club. And also a deal comes in for Mara Kali to be taken to Germany. A 27 million pound deal comes in. No way, Jose. We want at least 50 million for Mara Kali if we're going to sell him on uh, this season. Uh, that includes January too. But as you can see, we get knocked back again on Gundogan, offering him 175 grand per week. Uh, this has been going back and forth for a couple of times here. We've offered him a few contracts. He did reject that. And we don't go into contract negotiations also with Thiago now. 120 grand per week for the Manchester United man. A five year deal. Uh, who would you rather see at the club um, if you had the opportunity? Thiago? Mateo Kovacic, uh, Ilkay Gundogan, Granit Xhaka. Uh, Granit Xhaka deal actually does look dead in the water as uh, Valencia do not want to do business. So if we would have to go for that one, we have to wait till January to get ready now for a game against Chelsea. Paul Pogba drops down to centre defence midfield for this game. Uh, Lanzini moves into the centre and obviously Mikel Antonio plays out on the right, which is actually interesting to see. Um, it's a big game for us. Massive game, actually, to be fair. And um, I'm hoping we can get a win as Eric Dyer does play the ball into Manuel Lanzini. He does actually find Mara Akadi here. Five minutes into the game, West Ham started very well. It's uh, Akadi and a great save there from Gil Martin to keep the game at 0 0. Chelsea's turn to attack now. Diego Costa, the Spaniard, plays it back into Oscar. Fancy footwork there and great teamwork between Oscar and Costa. Butland is forced to make a great save there as uh, Pogba now brings the hammers forward into Mara Akadi. Great bit of play from the Argentine. Again, skipping past bodies like they're not even there. Plays it into the path of Danny Ceballos and Jill Martin again makes another great save. How on earth was that not a West Ham goal? So he approached a half an hour mark now. Joe McHale puts the ball into the box. Bellerin doesn't clear. It falls to Pedro, who doesn't need a second invitation as he finds the back of the net right on the half an hour mark. It's Chelsea 1, West Ham 0. That's a brilliant ball in from John over McHale too. Look at that. Um, Bellerin, he's got to hang his head in shame there. That is his fault. And uh, I never thought I'd be saying that about Hector Bellerin. Probably one of the most reliable players in the team last season. As Antonio gets into the ball here. Great bit of plays. He falls Jerome Boateng. Uh, gets the shot away. It's saved by Jill Martin. But Arcadi gets there ahead of his man. And uh, puts his body on the line to make it 1-1 here. Uh, we weren't behind for long. Only five to six minutes. Which is uh, not bad at all. As we equate to Boateng. All players fooled there by Antonio. Who is making a real case for that starting right midfield spot. Uh, if we don't get a centre midfielder in. It looks like Pogba will be playing in that CDM role. And uh, we'll have the likes of, um, obviously, Lanzini in the middle and uh, Antonio on the right, who's actually played very well here today. As you can see here, going into half-time, we've been maybe the more active of the, the, the both the sides, but nothing really written in stone on what's going to happen in this game yet. As Schneider plays ball into Cesc Fabregas, does find Diego Costa. Spaniard turns and shoots, but again, that is just wide of the mark. Chelsea getting a bit of a grip on the game now as Cuadrado gets onto the ball here. The Colombian gets the ball into the box, and Butland puts his ball on the line there. Brilliant save, and again, Zuma. Zuma clears it away from Pedro's incredible shot. That would have been a brilliant goal. That was goal bound as Pogba now finds the Aracetta. The Aracetta plays the ball into Eric Dyer, turns away from his man here. Dyer does find Wilson. Gil Martin saves again. 1 1 as West Ham now on a counter attack play into Wilson, into the Aracetta. The Uruguayan man's through on goal. It's Julian the Aracetta who wraps the game up surely with just three minutes left to go in this game. We hit him on the counter attack where it hurts. Chelsea do not know what have hit him here as West Ham United make it 2 1. Great ball from Callum Wilson unselfishly gives it to the Aracetta. No one's catching him when he goes through on goal like that with a couple minutes left in this game and he does sink the ball into the back of the net. West Ham win the community shield which is great to see here and that's what it's all about. Two pre-season trophies won and it gives us an incredible incentive going into the season that we can do something special yet again. Uh, that winning mentality is great to be implemented into the squad and it's definitely what we look forward to. Mario Kaida does pick up man of the match for this game guys and that is unfortunately going to bring end to today's video. We had the Bartley's Premier League season starting off and what do you think of our first fixtures? Do you think we're going to get any victories here and what points do you predict for us? As always, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to do smash that like button. Also, subscribe if you are new around here. Newcastle, Stoke and City in the next episode, guys. I hope you have a really nice day and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.